In BiCAD version 16, we now have a new option for configuring curved tubes. It used to be that we would define some distance A along the length of the tube. From here, we would deflect the tube some distance B. B was measured to the theoretical intersection of the two straight lengths of tube leading into the bend. As additional bends were placed, the new bend was positioned in between the start of the tube and the previously placed bend. Changing the radius of the bends would not change the position of the points defined by dimensions A and B, C and D, or E and F. In BiCAD version 16, we now have the option to define curved tubes by the straight length of tube leading up to the bend, the bend angle, and the bend radius. As additional bends are placed, the new bend is located some distance S2 from the end of the previous bend, and so on. Increasing or decreasing bend radii will have the effect of shifting the series of bends back and forth along the length of tube. You can toggle between these two methods of defining curved tubes at any time. 